Hey, what's up? So today we want to do a quick video on how to live stream a pre-recorded video to YouTube using OBS. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is if you have a YouTube channel, uh, you want to go and go to right now I'm in the creator studio. Um, so to get there, you can just click the your image here and click on creator studio and it will bring me here to this page. Next thing we want to do is you'll see the options over here and you want to click on live streaming. And then this will bring you to the live streaming page. So if you want to go stream and stream online now, then you can just use this key here. Uh, you can also schedule a stream as well, but we're just going to do the one that's set up here. Um, change the thumbnail if you want to. I'm just going to use this one, but just click change thumbnail if you want to change the thumbnail. And then you can just change uh, the stream name here as well. So I'll just call it the title of the thumbnail. Cool. And if you want to add um, any uh, info here in the description, you can as well. I'll just leave this default text here. Um, and then I'm going to leave this category and stuff the same, but you could change it if you want to. Um, I'll just leave it the generic one for now and I want to make this public because I want to stream public to people uh, you can definitely make it unlisted or private if you have it embedded somewhere um, but I'm just gonna leave it public for this and then you want to um, come back here um, eventually need to note this because you will want to use this stream key here um, once you get set up in OBS so we're gonna hop over to um, OBS and I'll drop a link in uh, to the software. Um, it's called Open Broadcast Software, um, short OBS. Anyway, I'll show you guys how to set up a video and image here. So typically what I do is always have this image set up here first because that's gonna be the first thing they see um, and then a video stream. But the image really isn't necessary if I'm live recording to Facebook then it's good, but for uh, YouTube not really necessary because you they already have that thumbnail image set up for you. So that's uh, good So um, I'll walk you guys through how to set it up though if you want to use another image or something So we'll just go to I'll call it test image click OK um, For the scene here and then we need to add a source So for the source if we want to do an image and you can simply click on image that name is fine click OK and then we want to go browse and I'll browse my desktop and say I wanted to use this image here. I'll click open and then that image is there. You see the red outline on here on the image means that it's within frame. So we're good to go there. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to add a video source. So we'll click the plus sign again and then we'll just call it test uh, video and click OK. And then we need to add the video file source. So that needs to be a source that's local on your machine because that's where you're going to stream it for from. So uh, let's go down to media source and then that's fine. I'm going to leave that name the default. Uh, click save. That's fine. And then let's go find. I want to find a source that's on my desktop. I want to use this here because um, that's the video pertaining to the thumbnail and click OK. And then click OK. And then that video is there. Um, and it's playing one thing you want to do is already set here to the default But you want to make sure this mic here is muted out because that's your actual um, Mic that's um, on your computer So if I was to turn this on like people can hear you talking so you definitely want to make sure that that um, Is muted um, by default is set here on this one But if not then you could just simply click to toggle it on and off this right here is fine because that's the audio coming from the media source. You definitely want that to be planned. Um, as you guys can see the outline here, the actual video is in frame, so we're good there. Um, and then I will go back here to um, test image um, because I want it to be on that image. And also um, the video is set uh, on the default is set to start from the beginning whenever you switch to it. So that's totally fine. So next thing we want to do is we want to go and we want to set up our actual stream key. So what I talked about earlier is getting that stream key. So um, click on settings over here and then come over to stream. Uh, change your service to YouTube or YouTube gaming. Um, you know, if you're doing Facebook, you can do that. But we're going to do YouTube for this example. So click on that. Um, I already have my 
um, stream key in here. I'm not going to show it because that's my public key. But um, basically, you would just come here, click reveal, copy your key, and then you come back here to OBS and drop that key there and click OK. And then that is it. And whenever we're ready to start um, streaming, all I have to do simply to start to stream, you go back here, you see we're offline, nothing's on here. But if I wanted to start that stream and just let it play, then I can just I'll make sure that it's on my test image first. Click start streaming. And then this should light up green here. So now we're live and then I can let that go a few seconds and then I can go over to the video and we come back here. You see the image comes up first and then the video should start here in a second um, to start streaming. There we go. So the video is there. It's playing. It's streaming. It's now live on my page. It's green there. Um, and then that's it. You know, people can join in. They can join in the chat or whatever. And you're good to go. And that's basically it. Uh, one thing you want to uh, make sure of again, just make sure that mic is muted. And then you just want to make sure that when the actual video um, is over, that you come here and just stop the streaming. And then that's it. So if I stop this stream here, it's a slight delay, uh, but it should here in a second, we should see the stream stop. There we go. So it says the stream is complete. And then that's it. So that's how you um, live stream a pre recorded video. Um, to YouTube using OBS and I'll drop the if you don't already have the software I'll drop a link to the software in the actual description of this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please drop them below. Have a good one